Welcome back everyone, I'm Jay Barino and this is Biotech Company, a custom campaign for StarCraft II made by Mapmaker and Yordes. This is mission 6, the last mission, Theranos. The Protoss at Theranos control an artifact that might prove useful to us. We know it causes great disturbance in Zerg creatures' communicative capabilities. We must obtain this technology. The Protoss are a dangerous threat. We will therefore send expendable Zerg forces that we now are breeding. While that will spare, spare us some manpower, the Protoss convey methods to disrupt our control over the Zerg. We have learned that these disruptors are powered by nearby Protoss Nexi. Destroy a Nexus and the disruptor should be out of order at least for a while. Okay. So I'm going to just continue on normal again. I might come back and play these on the harder difficulties at a future time. And let's get going. Protoss disruptors can reduce our control over our Zerg. The disruptors are powered by nearby Nexi. We need both the Nexus and the disruptor destroyed to gain a foothold in this region. So I'm not entirely clear on what the disruptors do. I... I don't know. I don't know, it's gonna be like the side destroyer in HOTS. I just don't quite... don't quite get it, but, get it. but we do get lurkers, that's awesome. Um, really strange base layout here with the... with the rich mineral fields. Interesting. But I like... I don't know, I like the... the changes. It's really just unique and, and weird. Okay, so... let's up the game speed to faster and okay so here's the disruptor and that's the area it's covering and we have to destroy the nexus okay so you guys get to mining wait so did that just build for me all right so let's just kind of waltz down here and see if we can kind of goad the protoss into attacking into my lurkers because lurkers are awesome here they come walk over Oh, they can see them. Lurkers have a lot of health, though. This is great. Okay, we've done it. Oh, here comes another attack of Protoss. Yeah, so I'm just getting units. I'm just... It's just... Oh, God, what is this? Okay, oh, that's a disruptor. It's moving. All right, let's just stay out of it. I Again, I don't really understand what, uh, what it does. I don't get it. Also, I can't build out of my own hatchery. Oh, skip introduction. Skip introduction and jump to primary mission objective. Okay, well, I'm not going to do that. Let's head down here and just see if we can kill this cannon. And attack. Back out. And back out. Back to the lurkers. Back to the lurkers! Oh, they're unburrowed. Why did I do that? Oh, I had to move them. That's right. And attack. Okay, let's move over with the Hydralisks and see if we can kill the Pylon so that they'll stop building units and avoid the Disruptor Sphere, whatever whatever that is. Okay, and then we'll walk, walk down here and kill the Nexus. Oh, okay, and apparently... Oh, God, here it comes. I guess we have to just man fight these. I'm inside the Disruptor web, but nothing's happening. This guy's turning purple, though. I have two turning purple. Are they losing health? Well, all I know is that they it says that they disrupt our control of the Zerg, so maybe after a certain amount of time in there, you lose control of that unit and it starts attacking you. That's all I can imagine. But I do know it doesn't kill you, so I guess let's just let's just go down and and just go for it. Alright, attack this. You guys no no not the lurkers. I don't want to lose control of the lurkers, that's for sure. But killing the Nexus apparently will disrupt the disruptor's uh, ability to disrupt. <laughs> Lots of, lots of disruption there. Okay, you guys come on down here. All of you come on down here. Again, very strange that I... I don't know. <laughs> like, this base, real weird. You guys come on up here. Why don't you burrow here? They won't be able to see you. And let's get in there. The, oh, the disruptor is a sentry but with a ton of health. So I guess let's just get in there and kill it. It does a decent amount of damage. Okay, we got it. So now that disruptor is done for, and we don't have to worry about it. From this corner, we can expand our forces, destroy the remaining four Nexus to take out the rest of the disruptors. Huh. Okay. So I see an expansion down in the bottom right. Though I don't know if there's going to be any units over there. We still have this weird base. And now I have control of all my stuff. Weird. Okay, so I assume they're going to be attacking me from these directions, so let's just set up our lurkers kind of in a bit of a concave here. 
And I need to make a, well, I need drones and I need to make a uh, spawning pool. So let's get like two drones on each of these weird mineral fields here. And I'm going to make a spawning pool down here. Okay, they're still attacking me. That's to be expected, really. And we've got some overseers. That's good. We've got three overseers. That's great, actually. Four, five over... Okay, we got a lot of overseers. That's really good. Especially because I've noticed that the map maker seems to really like Dark Templar. I noticed that from the, the other Protoss mission. So, um, got to make sure we bring a lot of overseers with us. Look at those, uh, those lurkers really tearing up these, uh, these zealots. So, I don't know how much preparation I'm going to really need for this. I'm going to get, I'm going to get two drones on each of these rich mineral patches. Maybe, um, it seems like their distance away is just right um, to have two on each, so I'll do that and it'll give me some pretty good income, and then I'll focus on getting income down here, so gas is going to be a huge problem. Um, I'm uncertain what I what I want to use as my attacking force, because I feel like um, attacking into the disruptors is going to be pretty darn challenging. Huh. And then I want to take this too, but it seems like that Disruptor does kind of waltz in range of it. So the goal is to destroy all the Nexuses, not to destroy the Disruptors, but it seems like when you destroy the Nexus, it will allow me to kill one of the Disruptors. I don't know if that's really true or not. Either way, um, my goal is going to make a really solid defense, and then probably, well, Mutalisks would make this really easy to go in, snipe a Nexus, and then get out. Um, assuming they don't have High Templar or Storm. Both of those would really, really kill me. Alright, we need more Overlords. I'm gonna make, um, Queens. Now, I haven't played Brood War... Not Brood War. <laughs> that goes to show. Um, I haven't played... Um, I haven't played... Oh, no, 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 don't let him get up there. There we go. I haven't played StarCraft II style Zerg for quite a while. I played a, just one or two multiplayer matches with them, but, so I don't... I mean, using queens, that's not something I've done for a while because I've been doing all this Brood War style stuff. And in the custom campaigns that have taken place during the StarCraft II time period, um, the difference there is... We've got three Gas Geysers. Um, they're mostly Terran campaigns, so I don't really remember um, how to play Zerg that well. Look at that. Zergling speed going to be a huge must, and then we're, I'm going to, like, churn out a bunch of upgrades. I'm going to get a lot of drones here on my, uh... I'm going to get a lot of drones here on my, um, geysers. Okay, we'll put that there. But I need to make a bunch of drones. But with queens, uh, with, um... With inject larva, I... That's not that big of a deal. So, oh, man, that's, uh, that's a colossus. So why don't you come over here and kill the Colossus Hydralisks, even though Hydralisks get chewed up by Colossus. So hopefully we're not seeing too many of those. I'm going to have to be really, really careful, though. Okay, inject. And inject. Now, I d and I, again, I don't really know what attacks I'm going to be looking at. It's a little scary. So you guys are going to come down here. Yeah, okay. So I'm just going to saturate this base. I'm just going to get my, all my upgrades. Um... We get two Evo chambers, and I just want to get all my ground upgrades, and I'm just going to make a solid ground force and just kind of sweep across this map. Can I make more Lurkers? I can. Hmm. Lurkers are just really cool for defending, but I don't know how necessary they're really going to be to uh, attack. Hey, you killed my... That was rude. You don't just go around killing spine crawlers like that. We will remake... I'm going to make two, actually. Uh, I wonder if they're going to attack from up here, too. What I can do is make some spore colonies. So, drones, and get my first two attack upgrades, and a lair. Okay, no problem. So, yeah, just, again, this is a pretty solid defense. Did I start Zergling Speed? I did. That's going to be crucial, I think. Um, and why not make a bunch of Hydralisks? Because it seems like... It seems like they gave us a lot of Hydralisks to start. They want us to use Hydralisks. So, um, I'm going to get a second queen once this lair is done. Looking good, looking good, and I'm getting a pretty solid income income buff here. So I could make mutalisks and snipe this this up here, or I can push down here with a standard ground force. Um, I would like to expand my creep. Okay, so that's going to leave me without one inject, but that's okay. We'll make some uh, 
more drones, some more overlords. Overlord speed's gonna be important because that'll help my overseers keep up with my uh, my ground units. Let's make some more uh, zerglings. I need some strong anti-air though, and I don't know quite what I want to do with that because I see a starport here. Well, it doesn't seem like they're really heavily defended. I would love to get up here. Oh, well, I see carriers. We might need corruptors. Mass mutalisks might do the job though, if they're like really well upgraded. So what I'm gonna do is get two spires and get double upgrades on my mutalisks. I'm going to need to take this base down here, though, uh, within time. Though it's in range of this Disruptor's patrol path. Hmm. Okay, and then I've got this weird base still. Still don't understand that base. It's just strange. Um, I'm going to take three drones and make spore crawlers up here, just in case. Just in case. Uh, the Zerg attacks... Um, in that... In that... What was it? Mission 4, maybe? Um... The one where we were against Neurotech, uh, not on the moon, but the one before that, was actually pretty challenging, so uh, I want to be extra careful and make sure I stay defended, because it seems like as I completed objectives in that one, um, there were more enemies that came out. So that's why I want to uh, let's go ahead and get another, another hatchery so that we can defend ourselves. Not defend ourselves, be able to produce more. Jeez, I can't... Can't speak. Let's go ahead and make uh, start expanding our creep. Kind of curious to know though if they're going to come through with. Uh, kind of curious to know if they're going to come through with sentries or not, and just ruin all my creep spread. Okay, my spires are done. I could skip like straight to broodlords if I got an infestation pit, but I don't think I really have the gas production for that. There's not a lot of gas on these geysers, not much at all. So um, that's what, again why I really need this base down here. Um, mass mutalisks is very tempting just to, just to finish these objectives quickly. Um, hydralisks, on the other hand, and roaches. I'm gonna get roach speed. Like, roach hydra is always uh, a good one, too. And I feel like I have more of my upgrades done for that. So, you know what? I'm gonna do some roach hydra action. Let's get my hydralisk down here. I love hydralisks. Hydralisks were one of my favorite zerg units in uh, the original Brood Wars, so that's why I kind of want to make them. Uh, keep spreading down in this direction. The thing about Hydralisks is that they're very slow off of creep. What are the upgrades? Oh, I couldn't see. I, I kind of want to know what their upgrades are. Let's check. Zero, zero. Okay, they are bringing observers. Those jerks. So they're ruining my creep spread. They can see my lurkers. Okay. No problem, though. The attacks are manageable. Do that. And that. And I want to get an infestation pit so I can get hive, mostly for those plus three upgrades on the ground. There's my Hydra Den. Let's get grooved spines. It seems like they already have the ground movement speed upgrades, so that's great. Um, Carapace level two, and then we're going to get missile attacks level three here very soon. Make some Hydralisks. I don't have enough gas. I'm going to have to make Zerglings as well. What I could do is just make a, a just a crap ton of Zerglings and push into push into one of the bases, only because even if they have air, I might have enough Zerglings to stay alive, basically, so. There we go, no problem. Make another queen for there. Make some more uh, overlords. There we go, and make sure you keep injecting. And by you, I mean me. There's a lot of Zerglings. Let's, uh, how are we doing on our mutations? I'll get that plus two on my ground, because I can't start plus three because I don't have a hive, because I don't have a uh, gas. Um, all the um, disruptors are away right now, so let's take my zerglings and, and just kind of poke around. Let's go up to brown, actually, because he seems open, and this amount of zerglings can kill a lot of stuff, especially with their upgrades. All right, that's fine. Even against zealots, the zealots are unupgraded, whereas I have the plus one carapace, so it, it's going to take... Oh god, I forgot about Dark Templar. Well, let's just clear out the defenders, and we will float a Dark Templar, or a, an Overseer, up there. It's going to go through the Disruption Web, so hopefully it makes it. You don't have to go over there, so friends. Kill the Dark Shrine, though. Kill the Dark Shrine, and, and kill this Pylon. There we go, now they can't build. So now we could take out this Nexus. Might even be able to take this base. Oh my word, those are carriers. Run, Overseer! Run over here! Oh. All right. Well, whatever. Let's just take out this stupid. Oh, they're warping stuff in. 
Okay, well, keep taking out the Nexus. We did it. Disruptors will be offline for two minutes. Let's kill this pylon. The Protoss are sending an attack force. Okay, well, I destroyed all of their pylons and stuff. So let's uh, let's come down here and make sure we're, we're defended for a while because they're sending a def uh, an, an attack force at me, apparently. I just queued up a ton of Hydralisks because Hydralisks are cool. I will cancel... Well, no, I won't cancel. I was going to say I was going to cancel a few so I can get more upgrades. Um, but I'm plus to everything. I actually just need to save for my hive. Their carriers... Oh, the carriers are actually going up there. So let's take these Hydralisks and wait for those carriers. I see them up there. That is an Archon. Looks like it's dead, though. Ha! I didn't make those spore, caller, uh, those spore crawlers in vain. They're not colonies. <laughs> and kill this one. Nice. I have enough Hydralisks where I can actually kill the Interceptors as they spawn, so it's not a big deal. There we go. So Cool, we cleared out that base. Next, I might go up for blue. In fact, I'm definitely going to go for blue next. Um, remake those Zerglings and make a Hive. We're plus two on everything. I could start getting my air as well. But I can't really afford anything, so I'm not going to bother. Okay, the Disruptors are back online. I can make uh, two more Overseers, and I have to remember to bring the Overseers with me. So three or four Nexi remaining. So one here, one here one here. How much gas do I have? Am I going to be depleted soon? How many mutalisks could I make if I just suddenly decided to save up and make a butt-ton of mutalisks? A decent amount, really. Um, so I could go take this base. I'm going to the disruptors out of the way, so I'm going to make a run for it. Oh, get around there, drone. Still don't... Alright, I'm going to take this... Zergling, stand in the disruptor field. A few of you do it. Okay, he's turning a certain color. Okay. They are still a certain color. Still curious to see what's going to happen here. Alright, well, I can still control them, no problem, so. Huh. I guess I just don't. I don't get it. Ah, okay, there you go. See, now, he, now, he's, now he turned against me. So it seems like after. A, a set amount of time, they decide to say fuck you and uh, turn against you, so let's go ahead and sneak two more drones down here to make uh, extractors, and I'm going to inject and inject and inject and let's make a bunch of drones to send down here will they make it before getting turned evil? Uh, well, let's hope so and they seem fine, so no problem um why don't you guys just wait <laughs> for this hatchery to finish? Okay, good. And, uh, like I said, I'm just playing it safe. It seemed like they had a pretty large counterattack come at me after I took out that first, uh... Took out that first Nexus, so I have to be pretty careful. What is that? Oh, just a normal attacking force. That doesn't scare me. Um, alright, let's get plus two in the air. And let's get, uh, Carapace and melee attacks level three. And a queen. And what happened? I thought I made uh, extractors down here. I guess not. Oh, because I told my drones not to. I remember that now. So I'll get, uh, get a few spine crawlers down here just in case. And we get just get like random Protoss attacks coming at me here. So, oh god, I shouldn't be doing this. I'm just throwing my Zerglings away. Because they can't get a surround on that Colossus. Okay, fine. That's fine. Do that. We are mostly mined out, but we have a ton saved up. For the most part, I need to get guys on gas. And I'm not going to make more drones. I'm just going to transfer a bunch down here. So now I'm going to leave all this stuff at home to defend. Uh, I'm going to queue up missile attacks level 3, and then I'm just going to wait for my gas to finish and make a bunch of mutalisks to go snipe the nexuses and leave this stuff at home in preparation for the giant counterattacks that end up coming. All right, cool. So how much is on these gas? A uh, decent amount. I could go take this base, too. Um, it seems like the this thing patrols... Uh, you know, I have seen it up in this direction, too, so I'm not going to... I'm not going to risk it. It's going to overlap, though, with my, with, my, with my hatchery, and I'm kind of curious if it will 
mess up my hatchery, or if it's only units. So it's, it's sitting over some of my drones right now. I don't like that. It's moving away, though, so I think I'm safe. Okay. So let's just inject. Looking good on my... Uh, my upgrades are finishing, and I am... Looking good on my mining here. So once... Again, once I get more and more of these... Uh, more and more gas... I've got a lot of gas still. I'm surprised I'm not getting it at a faster rate, but I can make a bunch of those uh, mutalisks. So... Mutalisks for now. You have to be a little careful, too, because it seems like once you attack the... Um, once you start attacking the Nexus, units start warping in. So that can really mess you up, it seems like. Okay, so let's use that. And I'm, I'm just assuming that once I destroy all the Nexuses, um, all the Disruptors will stay offline and then I can kill them. I don't know what this is, what this obelisk thing is. I have no idea, so I'm just gonna let let things be for now and just not bother. I'll do that. Now, I could get plus three on my air attacks, but... I have just enough gas, I would rather make more Mutalisks, so let's make more Mutalisks. I'm going to be making Mutalisks until I'm at 200, and then I'm going to go take out this this Nexus. In fact, I might be able to just do it now. There's no Disruptors there, so I have really nothing to worry about. The question is how much they're going to defend it, and what gets warped in to defend it. it seems like Dark Templar. And I'm not sure where they're going. They might be coming to attack me down here. I have Overseers, though. No air... Nothing that can attack air is getting warped in. There we go. We took it out. There's a Stalker, though. The Disruptors are offline for two minutes. There is a Carrier, actually. Let's kill that. Okay, and let's just eliminate Blue's ability to produce. There's another Carrier, too. What is this? Oh, there's the Dark Templar. Drones, all of you just run. Ugh. Okay. Um, again, I'm just going to take out all the pylons. That way they can't produce. Won't be a problem at all. Well, that was all my gas income, so I kind of have to finish this with what I have. Um, I should be able to just take these Mutalisks and snipe everything, though. Stupid, stupid Dark Templar. Hydralisks, you move up here. Oh god, what am I doing? Kill this. Come on down here and snipe this pylon. Okay, and let's make some more Mutalisks with my extra gas. And now I have no gas income, so let's... But let's go ahead and bring my, my uh, Mutalisks down here to defend against the Protoss attack that's coming at me. Which is lots and lots and lots of Dark Templar. Now what I do have is an, an enormous amount, an absolutely enormous amount of uh, minerals. So I can just make a lot of spine crawlers, and I have a bunch of drones here now, so I could make them. Um, spine crawlers and spore, spore crawlers. So, uh, okay, Mutalisk, let's go up and get this. Um, let's go up and get this Nexus because it seems mostly undefended. Though again, it really depends on what they warp in to save it. Getting this plus three might as well. Okay, and then I have a ton of stuff at home to defend. Take this out. Take this out. Again, I'm just taking out their ability to defend by doing this. And just everything. Just just unpower everything. There's the disruptor. It is in my way right now. What I can do is go around and get uh, yellow instead. And yellow is, like, entirely undefended right now. So I'm going to fly through and just take out the stalkers that exist here. There we go. There's a there's an Archon. You have to magic box those a little bit. There we go. And just, just unpower all their ability to produce, because it doesn't seem like they rebuild the pylons. Absolutely great. So, and then this one as well. Oh, they have more buildings. You and you, and you. 
There's a carrier, actually. So carrier and then pylon. Okay, I don't want this stuff attacking me later. That's why I'm taking everything out. Am I in range of the disruptor? I lost a, a mutilisk there. How is blue still attacking me? I thought I took out his ability to produce, but I guess not. Okay, so let's uh, kill the probes. And then the Nexus. So magic box, magic box. Okay, and we're back on the Nexus. And again, just stay magic boxed. Because I don't want the splash damage to just murder me. Those were Dark Templar. Okay. We took that out. The Protoss are sending an attack force. I'm not going to fuck with, with uh, green until I defend myself against that. Even though the Nexus is just wide open right now. Yeah, see, they're not rebuilding the pylons, so I'm curious to know how Blue ended up rebuilding. Under anyway, either way, I, I want to stay really, really safe. <laughs> so let's make, um... Well, nothing, really. Right, back up. My Mutalisks are going to help with some mobile defense. Alright, keep sending... Oh, there's the attack force. So, uh, Mutalisks and Hydralisks, get on up here. And you. And you. Yeesh. Scary carriers. But that's what all these hydralisks are for. These hydralisks can probably take out almost anything. Okay, we're almost out of gas entirely. Now let's go take out Green's Nexus and just keep these disruptors entirely offline so then I can clear out all the Protoss on the map, take all the bases, and then do whatever I want. Uh, this mission I could see being really, really hard if you get too impatient, because the Protoss, I think, could absolutely kill you, uh, especially with those counterattacks. Those counterattacks are pretty huge. There's a disruptor right there. All right, let's kill this. Oh, my word. Let's run. I lost the Mutalisk to the disruption field. Let's kill these carriers. Okay, did those, uh, did those Archons leave? They did. Good. They're going to go attack my main base where I can easily defend against them. Our forces are under attack. Oh, my word. Under attack. Okay, we're okay, though. We have, a, we have enough units at home. Let's just kill this Nexus. Slowly but surely, we are magic boxed so we can kill these Archons and not get splash damage to death. The Protoss are sending an attack for us twice, apparently. With the Nexus destroyed and the Disruptors offline, we must remove the last obstacle, destroy the Protoss Obelisk, and the artifact is ours. I didn't really even make an attempt to kill the Disruptors. Um, I wonder if when they were offline I could have killed them. Probably should have done that. Let's just get home and defend ourselves for the most part. But I have a lot of uh, stuff at home to defend. I'm going to bring these Mutalisks back as well. I'm just clearing this out in order to... Uh, take this base. That's a lot of Colossus. Oh my god, back up. Oh my god, everyone back up. Mutalisks, get home. Holy shit! They weren't kidding. Oh my word. Hydralisks. This and this and this. Holy shit, that's ridiculous. Okay, get up here. Kill this and this. Yes, those spore crawlers! Saving the day. Jesus. Okay, get down here and kill this, uh, anything that's left. Wow. Whew. I barely held on there. Barely, barely held on there. Now we have to kill the obelisk. Let's go ahead and build a hatchery here. And probably up here. Holy crap. And up here. Let's make a ton of mutalisks again. Because we are 3 3. I don't have to worry about my units getting taken over anymore. We do still have some hydralisks. Where are those drones? Let's make uh, this and this and this and this. Of course, there's one stupid zealot following me. Make the, make the, make the. Yeah! <laughs> wow, that was scary. That was an enormous, an absolute enormous amount of Colossi. Okay, and this is on normal mode. I don't want to imagine what Brutal is. Okay, so I guess let's... 
Let's just clear out these bases. We can maybe take them. Or I could just make a straight run for the obelisk. Either way, I just want these Protoss gone. <laughs> kind of curious to know if they're going to still attack me or not. Let's take, um... Well, I don't have any Zerglings. Alright, I guess make, uh... Score Crawlers. Lost my Queens. Gotta make Queens. All of you drones. You guys come on down here. And let's make some Zerglings. Whew, that was, that was crazy. That's, oh my word, double carriers there. Okay, I, just, I think I just need to take my time and, and just rebuild this back up. Let's kill these carriers. They'll take out two or three Mutalisks, sure, but in the meantime, I they're, they're gone. Let's take out this Pylon and then this Stalker. And then everything else. So, my Queens are back. So what I can do is take these Zerglings and just go clear everything out. We'll make a queen here. Alrighty. And then let's get some gas income going. Where do I have drones sitting around? We have more here. Okay, good. And then we'll kill this stuff. And then I'll come up here and kill this stuff and clear out yellow. So, uh, yeah, up here... And primarily, I need gas, so let's make a, a queen down here. This is uh, very, very wacky. So you guys coming up here. Got to hotkey all my hatcheries. Now we're getting to that crazy, scary part of Zerg, where you can just kill everything. Oh, Dark Templar. Oh, Dark Templar. Oh, my word, Colossi. Where did you come from? Holy crap! Those fuckers came out of nowhere! Ugh. I just want to saturate that base. Okay, this is cleared out. Mutalists, come on over here. I do have this base down here. I think a solid fleet of Mutalists would finish this. But I'm terrified, honestly, because I'm afraid I'm going to destroy that obelisk and like a billion Protoss are just going to come out of nowhere and kill me, so... Um, who knows? Let's kill these Colossi that apparently were just here. There we go. And Overseers, why don't you come on up here? Make a bunch more Zerglings. Like, a lot more Zerglings. There we go. Drones, just try to make your way up here. You might not make it. Let's just hope you do. We'll do this and this so that we can see the Dark Templar. This is a weird. Sh this is a weird placement that I chose for this. Uh, for this hatchery. So, how about up here. Our forces are under attack. More coloss. I don't understand where they're getting these units from. Okay, come on down here. I think they're spawning. Like they want to just make sure that there's still units to attack me at all times. Kill that. Oh, uh, what happened? It seems like they just randomly took control of one of my overseers. All right. So let's get this going and this going. This is looking good. We'll make some drones down here. I don't have any idle drones, do I? I have one. Let's make you into a spore colony. I'm leaving all this stuff at home just in case because apparently, uh, <laughs> apparently, that's all I have to say. Okay, so... I can start poking in on this obelisk. I just want to see what I'm looking at. Random colossi on high ledges is what I'm looking at. I sort of just want to make a run straight for it. Um, I think I could. There's a huge Protoss base here, so so yeah, I'm just going to... I'm just going to max out on Mutalisks right now and make this happen. I could also make... Oh, okay. Forgot about that. I could also make um, Broodlords. Be a really good option. Wow, where are these coming from? Again, they must be spawned. Okay, so you, I'm removing you from the group because uh, your mutalisks that fly in are gonna get killed. We require more Vespinga. Okay, it's time. Kill this thing. Kill the pylons. 
They're very vulnerable to pylon snipes. Very, very vulnerable. Whew, thought I was about to crash there. Got a bit of a freeze. Okay, I'm gonna, like, wipe all this stuff out with my Mutalisks, then I can run in a bunch of Zerglings. Though I anticipate they're gonna rebuild it. Let's make take out this pylon. Once that's gone, a lot less stuff is attacking us. There we go. And once with these Colossus, with these Colossi gone, I'll be able to move in with a bunch of Zerglings. Ugh. Ugh, just that stupid stuff there. Alright, well, let's just see what we can do with what I have. Oh, a mothership. Oh, a mothership. <laughs> okay. Well, he got my overseers. Okay, let's make a, a ton of zerglings. And let's let's just attack in. We're going to bring an overseer with us. Kind of wipe out blue. You go ahead and back up. Once my zerglings get up here, be in really good shape. What are you? 111. One, one. Okay, well, there was another black hole. Let's just get in the black hole. Kill all these asshole archons that were blocking my entry from everywhere else. Okay, and let's go meet our mutalists. They're about to get out of the black hole. Get on up here with the uh, Colossi. Okay, and here we go. It's time. Mutaling, move on in. Will he be able to? Again, I don't think he'll be able to get me with the uh, black hole. We killed the mothership, no problem. Is there even a way across? We have to go around. I'm willing to go all the way around just because I want to make sure I keep all my zerglings alive. And um, who knows what's over there other than those carriers. So let's just go with everything. Colossi up here, yep. Okay, keep going. Mutalisks kill the Colossi. Mutalisks continue to kill the Colossi. And carriers. Okay, and Zerglings. In you go. We are there. We've made it pretty much. Wow, this uh, actually... This was a, a pretty big difficulty spike for the end of this campaign. Um, because the earlier missions were not nearly this bad, I don't think. <laughs> I mean, they were fun, but this one was definitely a lot harder. And I, I mean, I like that. I like that it was challenging. I kill this. And kill this. Not many of my Zerglings made it, but here's the Obelisk. I'm willing to bet that as we kill this, a bunch of protest units will whoop in. Maybe not. Maybe not. And we did it. Whew. Yeah, pretty, pretty challenging, tough mission. Mission completed. You've completed mission six. I'm going to do a short retrospective here. All right, so yeah, that's the end of the biotech campaign. I might be doing a second playthrough of this on the harder difficulties eventually. I actually kind of want to now, but I'm going to wait a little bit, I think, maybe do another separate playthrough. of. I'm, I'm not really sure what I'm going to do next. I'll pick another campaign that's a custom campaign of some sort, or maybe I'll go back and do StarCraft II. Haven't decided yet, but there'll be something StarCraft-related along mixed in with my Dead Space, Dead Space playthroughs, you know. Um, so yeah. Biotech, I really liked it. My only complaint is that there wasn't more. Um, I want to point out that the, the difficulty was a little inconsistent, I guess. Mission 1 was actually kind of challenging. Um, you know, no, I take that back. They were all pretty challenging. There wasn't one that was like a, a breeze. Even that one that um, where you played as... Uh, what was his name? I forget his name, but the guy who you were on the planet with the the wildlife that wanted to kill you, and I was obsessed with saving the turtles. That one. Um, even that one was kind of hard. You could. The thing is, you couldn't actually lose that mission. You would just get knocked down, and then you'd come back up eventually, and you could use scare beasts to just scatter everything. But overall, like if you if you died upon that guy getting knocked down, then that mission would have been a lot harder. And overall, I think the challenge was pretty pretty well done. The the Protoss mission, mission two, I really liked. Um, I really liked the mission where you could steal the, the Zerg Hives and take control of them. That was really cool. Um, and then that last mission added some good challenge, and I, I enjoyed that, and it was nice to play Zerg again. And, uh, yeah, it got really hard there. They sent, like, how many? Like, six or seven Colossi and, like, four carriers at you? Wow, like, that's, that's like a terrifying Protoss death ball. I guess Corruptors would have been the answer there, but how could I have planned to make, like, 
12 corruptors in advance, because at, at that point I didn't need corruptors. Anyway, that is the end of Biotech. Again, I enjoyed it. I'd recommend you pick it up. Head over to SC2 Mapster and grab it. This has been Jay Barino. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye.